Hey y'all. So I want to continue with this thought of enlightenment and revelation um, in our thanksgiving in the kingdom and things that I am thankful for and what a difference that Jesus makes. One of my favorite um, scriptures, and I suppose it's just because of the way it hit when I read it, <laughs> um, is about Paul. It's, it's Paul's story, really. In Acts chapter 26 and this is verse 18 and we you and I have read this many times before but this is revelation and so Paul is saying he is telling his story before Agrippa and part of it he says in verse 17 choosing you out and delivering you from the Jewish people and the Gentiles to whom I'm sending you so Jesus is telling Paul, I'm taking you out, delivering you from the Jewish people, the Jews, and sending you to the Gentiles. And this is why. To open their eyes that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, so that they may thus receive forgiveness and release from their sins and a place and portion among those who are consecrated and purified by faith in me. Um, I'm, I want to read from Isaiah. This this is just this is just it's just good, and I'm at a loss for words because I'm just over, <laughs> overwhelmed with the goodness of God. Revelation is light be. And it's, it is revealed. It's like it's, you see it. It's, it. It is as if you open your eyes and you realize, okay, that's revelation. Realize, you see, comprehend, and understand what's really going on. And so Paul, who you know, he said, I was the Jewish of the Jews. I was the most Jew, the best Jew, he says. And the father pulls him out. From the Jews and sends him to us Gentiles <laughs> to those of us who were not um, born into the right family so to speak and so Jesus of course as we talked about in the first week is our access point and and last week that now there is no distinction between Jew and Gentile that we are citizens of the kingdom and there is no enmity between us Jesus has made one race of people and so that that our eyes would be open and we would see not necessarily our physical eyes but that our spiritual eyes would be opened that we would see and turn from darkness to light and from the power of satan to god now i think there is so much more in that than we ever dig into but um isaiah 42 Verse 6, um, oh, go to verse 5. Thus says God the Lord, He who created the heavens and stretched them forth, He who spread abroad the earth and that which comes out of it, He who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it, I the Lord have called you the Messiah for a righteous purpose and in righteousness I will take you by the hand and I will keep you I will give you for a covenant to the people Israel and for a light to the nations the Gentiles to open the eyes of the blind to bring the prisoners from the dungeon and those who sit in the darkness from the prison so I am thankful that the Holy Spirit has sent word to us who were not of Jewish birth, that we don't have to be blind anymore, that we don't have to remain prisoners anymore, that we don't have to remain slaves anymore, that Jesus Christ has absolutely abolished 
broken and destroyed Satan and the power that he had over us. That's a, that is, that is news to be grateful and thankful for today, to just jump up and shout and rejoice. And we'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye y'all.